Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lizzie. This is going to be a video all about the bathroom cabinet. <laughs> so I'm going to open it up for you in a second. It desperately needs um, decluttering, reorganising. Um, there's stuff in there that are empties that need to go. There are things in there that I'm just not using. There are things in there that will be better stored somewhere else. And so I really want to kind of reorganize it, sort it out. I'm also using it as a way of working out what to ask for for Christmas. Um, it's uh, 10 days before Christmas when I'm filming this. I think it will come out for you on Boxing Day, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it will come out slightly after Christmas, I think. Um, but I'm using it as a tool for working out what I actually need for Christmas because I adore skincare um, and some makeup. I don't wear tons of makeup, but I really like good quality makeup and I love skincare. And so I'm also, as well as the fact that it will give me pleasure to have this reorganised and the job needs doing and I thought you'd be interested, I'm actually using it as a tool to work out what in my skincare routine is running out or has run out that I actually want to replace because skincare, the skincare I like tends to be quite expensive, <laughs> let's be honest. And if you need a few bits um, in one go, then Christmas is a really good time because my mum very kindly likes getting me skincare at Christmas and damn well as well. Um, so yes, I will open up and let's get going. So um, the cabinet itself is from Ikea. I will put a card up to the video where we actually installed it um, if you want to know more about the actual cabinet. These two sides, all of it's mirrored, but these two sides are mirrored so you can see the reflection of all of this so it makes it look like there's even more than there is but it just comes to here and this shelf, this shelf and this shelf are mine so that's what I'm dealing with today, those two are my husband Dan's. So first things first, I'm going to go through a few bits and pull out some empties that I love that I would potentially repurchase but that need to go in the bin. So this Bumble and Bumble thickening spray, I need to get a new one of these. I use it a little bit in the front of my hair because it's not as thick as it used to be but it is gone. So that one needs to go in the bin, sorry that was loud. Um, <laughs> there is... <laughs> this much left i cut the top off of the ren jelly cleanser i really like this cleanser but that's gone um and i need a new cleanser i actually have already picked up knowing a few things stan needs a wee i've got to press pause mum life okay <laughs> so where were we cleanser so my favorite morning cleanser is the Oscar renaissance I definitely want another one of these for Christmas, mum. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put that out on the side here to remember, want a new one of those. Um, and then the cleanser that I bought myself, I recently joined Beauty Pie and I'm trying this guy out, which I actually really like. So if there was too long to wait in, for certain things for Christmas because I would have no cleanser. So I did a little, I joined up for Beauty Bite and I did a little haul and I'm liking this. It's not as nice as the Oscar, but it is nice. It's um, a bit like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, but it's nicer and I find that one a bit drying and I don't find this one at all drying. So, oh, I don't need to take that out. Um, let me talk to you quickly. I hope you can hear when I'm facing that way. Um, about hyaluronic acid. So I definitely need a new hyaluronic acid serum at Christmas. Um, I recently have been trying the CeraVe, but that's completely empty. I actually got it from my husband and used it too. Um, and then over the summer, because this is SPF 30, I've been using this La Roche Posay as well, but you can see this is nearly done. I hope that that will keep me going till Christmas day. Um, this guy I'm going to leave inside, but this is an amazing serum um, by Drunk Elephant. Problem with it is it's not safe in pregnancy. So I'm going to leave it in there because once I've given birth, I can use it again. I'll check if you can use it breastfeeding. It's an amazing serum. That's what I would put on um, at night time. This hairspray is all good. I can keep that. What I'm gonna do is do the getting rid of and taking out and then I'll probably do like a time-lapse 
take it out, reorganise, clean, get things in better positions, because in some places it doesn't really make sense why certain things are together. Um, love this. I've talked about this recently. Uh, Clarins Instant Makeup Remover is really good if you ever wear a um, mascara that's hard to get off. This guy I want to use up. I really like this. I need to work through that and use it up. Uh, this I don't really use very often because I'm not very spotty and it might not even be safe in pregnancy, but it's good to have up your sleeve. This is what I use to take off my makeup in the evenings. Okay, we're getting over to makeup on this side now. Um, and then there's more kind of skincare up here. So I might try and make sense of all of that. Partly is just because this is a deeper shelf and this is a smaller shelf. So um, that's why the higher things are here. Um, but I could make more sense of this because this is, a, um, this is a mask. And up here I've got a face mask as well. So really they should be together. And then it moves into makeup over here. I don't know why I've kept the packaging for this. Glossier. Um, this is the concealer I use. It's Stretch. Um, a few Glossier bits here. Kind of need to make sense of this. These are both tanning things for body and for face. Not using either. But actually, as it's winter, maybe I should whack a little bit of this on. Also, because I don't wear makeup all of the time, it is quite nice to have a little bit of something on your face. Um, these guys um i have found that you can actually get and i need to that needs to go on my christmas list there's a cotton it's not cotton but there's like a silicon tip bud that you can reuse so that it's not so bad for the environment and wasteful what i need to check is if they're any good for like removing bits of eye makeup because the reason i have them is because when i put my mascara on i always end up my my eyelashes sometimes when i open my eyes wide then touch the top of anyway you're not interested but look into that i'll put in the description notes the one that i know about because i think it's a really good thing to have to to avoid that kind of impact on the environment um tiny hairspray which should go in my travel things tiny moisturizer that should go in my travel things um and then these are little bits of makeup that i actually do wear um, this is Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I really liked this. I got this as a little sample. I might add that to my Christmas list as well because that's really good. I, I get quite tangly hair because I've got long, straight hair. In here are my brushes, which need to be washed. So I'm actually going to take these out and leave them on the side to make myself wash them. I've also got a perfume in there and an hourglass eyebrow pencil, which probably shouldn't be in there. They should probably make their way up there somehow. I'll work that out when we get higher up. Um, I'm gonna take you through the other two shelves quickly, and then I'll do a little bit of a time-lapse, clean and tidy and reorganize. Um, so, there's no reason for this to be in there. That's an empty pot. I'll clean that out and put in my travel stuff. Again, a tiny little SPF travel bag, um, Future Dew is a great dewy primer. Could you hear that? That was Stan shouting at the TV. Um, so uh, I do have, there's a primer that I don't have that I absolutely love that I want to get uh, for Christmas, which is moisturising. What's the brand called? You can get it in, in Boots. Again, I'll put it in the description notes, but it's a primer that's really nice if like me you'll do your skincare in the morning and then later in the day you might decide to put makeup on but you might just not but if you do you can put this um on and it's very moisturizing so it's like refreshing your skincare and then your makeup sits really nicely on it i'll put it in the description box um this is a good serum a cc serum um i tend to like to have a hyaluronic acid serum a CC serum and then some kind of nighttime serum. So I need to replace the hyaluronic acid, I need to replace the CC because this is completely gone, bin. And then I need to do some research into like what would be good to put on my skin at nighttime with the hyaluronic acid instead of the CC um, that's okay in pregnancy, that's kind of good for fine lines and wrinkles and resurfacing type vibes. Let me know if you know of anything. Um, 
Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. This is my foundation, it's a tinted moisturiser. So that's what I use as my makeup. Um, right. <laughs> Bumble and Bumble Pressor Powder is what I use in my hair um, instead of dry shampoo now because dry shampoo is not really working. I'm going to get these two perfumes down. These are the two perfumes that I use the most. These are beautiful Chanel ones that I got for my birthday, for my 30th, birth 30th birthday, I think, and wedding or wedding and 30th birthday. Um, so they're really special. Um, I've got these that I've had for ages, Daisy Mark Joseph's and the Chloe one. And I really want to just use them up so they're gone and they're out of the way. So I'm going to get those out because I might put them on my bedside table. I'm really lazy and never really wear perfume unless it's a special occasion and then I reach for these guys. Um, so I'm going to get those out so I actually use them. So I like to have some things used up. Um, another Bumble and Bumble hair thing that I like is invisible oil so sometimes i've got flyaways or bits um and i can just squirt once it's dry once when i've washed it and rub it into parts of my hands and just sort of put it down the end so don't do it very often but i like having that i don't know i'm taking it out um this is like a little pot of hair clippy bits and bobs that i should go through because i mean most of those i probably won't use so i need to organize that this i just got in the beauty pie order good hands um so this shouldn't be in there because the whole point in it is it's a no rinse hand cleansing gel so i should put that in the pram or in my handbag or something same with this one this is an aesop one so i'll put this in my handbag and the bigger one in the pram um i have got my wild deodorant and i've got three refills so i do not need three re refills in here we've got a little bit of storage outside for like medicines and things um so there's kind of space for like a, a wash bag with things that are like smaller for travel and i can definitely like store these in there so i will do put i think this is empty yeah so i need to put a new one in so i'll put a new one in and then i'll store the other two out there Um, what else have we got going on here? This, oh, got another, got another little travel mini SPF. This was gifted to me very kindly by somebody who used to work with my husband at Urban Outfitters who now have their own skincare brand. And it's a really nice clay face mask. Um, so when I'm doing my rearrange of everything, it will make sense to have a face mask area. So I've got the clay one and then the one I've got from Ostia. Then I've got two moisturisers. I've got the Ultra Facial Cream from Kiehl's, which is standard, always good to have, love that. When I did my Beauty Pie order, I ordered this triple hyaluronic acid one, which is also really nice. So those are my two options of moisturisers, which I think should probably just live there together. This is a fabulous eye cream that I have learnt that I shouldn't be using in pregnancy. Can you see it? It's really, really good. I'd really recommend it if you're not pregnant or breastfeeding, um, but, I can't use that at the moment. So I think I will put away the things I can't use at the moment actually, because there's just no point in having them there. So these two I'm gonna put in the hallway the storage, um, but it means that for Christmas I need a new eye cream because I don't have an eye cream at the moment. There is a triple hyaluronic acid one from Beauty Pie that goes in the same collection, so I might get that. Um, SPF. I don't always wear SPF in the winter, I'm pretty lazy, but on really sunny days, if I know I'm gonna be out a lot, then I'll put that on. Particularly, I mean, I haven't been because my hyaluronic acid has got SPF 30 in it, but once that's used up with the new one, I'll need to do that. Um, Gillette Venus razor heads, again, that's something that can go in the storage in the hallway, I don't need access to them in here. Then, let's go higher. Okay, so this is a moisturizer that is basically so any left in here is done. Um, this is a really, really nice moisturizer. Mine is finished and I've got those two moisturizers, so that's fine. That can go to recycling. Okay, these bad boys. Um, I've got to find someone else to give this to because basically I don't use it. I, I went to Richard Ward for a free blow dry. He gave me a beautiful hairbrush and quite a few products and I used up all the shampoos and this um, I have used a bit in the front here so I'll keep that it's all about trying to bolt this bit that's got thin from Stan um this is pro formula vitamin boost health reviving for lustrous shine 
my hair's pretty shiny and healthy to be honest so I might find someone to give that to as a gift because I don't think it's ever been used little lids for things that I don't need this is a mini for the bumble and bumble press powder and I was thinking oh, I'll keep the little one because then I can open it and put and have a travel size one and refill it but you can't because it's not made so you can do that so recycling Earl of East very kindly gave me this um it's a nice like spritz for your shower it makes the bathroom smell nice it's quite a strong smell for me at the moment um, being pregnant my nose is quite sensitive but it is eucalyptus um, and it is nice Dan likes it more than I do but it's definitely worth using because it's a nice thing to have this is empty <laughs> this is what I had my little cotton buds in before so I'll put that to one side and then here we go so this is all of this I reckon all of this needs to go it's about checking the amount of time you should have had it for so this is this, um, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's brilliant. I wear it in light, but I've had it too long. It's dead. Um, there's hardly anything in there, but anything that is in there will be a bit minky because you're only supposed to keep makeup for a certain amount of time. Same with the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme CC Cream, which I also rate, but um, I've had that more than two years and it says 24 months. So that's got to go. Um, everything in this pot is really, really good. It's just that... At one point, I had too much makeup. There was just, I was wanting to try loads of new things. I, it was a new thing that I got really into it at the beginning of my 30s. And um, over those years, recently, there have been a couple of years where I just had too many things. So that's again why I'm wanting to reduce it down. I'm really happy with the Fenty Beauty Pearl Drops. Don't need another thing at the moment. So I'll get rid of these. But this is a Becca. Did Becca? Is Becca the one that closed down? I think Becca might be no more. Um, but this was a really, really nice um, backlit priming filter, but needs to go because it will be old and dead. This, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I really liked this, but I found it a little bit too shiny, like not in a dewy way, like in a sticky way slightly. And when it was the best option, it was fine. But actually... I far prefer the Fenty Beauty. Um, there's not that much in it. And again, it's a 12 months and I've had that longer than 12 months. So, oh, I dropped it on the floor. So that's satisfying, that can go. These are my two Pride and Joy perfumes. Check how many perfumes Dan has. He's got like about seven up there. Um, okay, let's see what's in this pot. Roller Lash Benefit Mascara. This is a good mascara but it drops slightly here on me and I find that really annoying. Um, and because it's, it might work for someone else really well, but because it's an eye product, I'm not gonna give it to someone because I did use it for quite a long time. So I'm gonna bin that. Um, oh, I love this thing. Look at this jade roller. Definitely gotta keep that. This is a lip balm that I love, so. I need to put that in with lip stuff somehow, I'll reorganise. Eyelash curler, which I literally never use, but I sort of feel like is a useful thing to have. Hmm. I'll work out if that's gonna stay in here with tools or if that goes to the hallway. Oh, Summer Fridays, this is a really nice mask. So I can put that with the other masks and that's a lip butter. All oh, that's good to know. I, that, I'm not gonna put a lip butter in there because I put them by my bed or in my handbag and things like that. So that can come out. Um, this is a manicure corrector pen, Essie. I will keep this, but I will put it in the hallway, but I also wanna just check whether there's actually any nail brush remover left in it, because I think that might be a bit old. This was the little spoon that very sweetly came with that face mask, the clay one, because you mix water in, but I really don't think that I need that. Here's another like tool situation. So that can go in there. Big chunky pencil sharpener. And then what's this? Oh, that's part of the eyelash curler. And then I've got some mini perfumes. I might get all the mini perfumes together, like, you know, the samples and give them all to my niece because I mean, I'm not gonna use them. Okay, 
Oh, this, this is a brilliant foundation. If I was gonna get a second foundation, then I would get the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. 4.5, that's what I need to remember. I'm gonna leave that out to write it down, but then I'm gonna bin this, because this is, again, it's a bit old, um, so can't use that anymore. Um, oh, there's more perfume. So there's the Chanel 1932, and this Marc Jacobs is gorgeous. So I'll put those all together there, and just try and use those other ones up. What's this? Oh, this is creepy. Um, this is my pregnancy test for being pregnant now with the next baby. <laughs> I weed on this. Right, let's find a different home for that. Um, foot care cream. Um, and polishing balm, Philip Kingsley polishing balm for hair. I'm not going to use that because I've got quite good quality. Oh, I don't know. I don't use polishing balms really on my hair. I've got my hair products that I like. Texturizing spray. Mm, might use that again for like this little bit. So let's keep that. Foot hair cream. I sort of wouldn't keep in here. I think I'd keep that in the hallway, so that's separate. That's kind of more like pedicure, manicure vibes. Um, again, like some manicure sticks. I don't use these, I don't do home manicures or pedicures. So there's no point in me having them. So I might just find someone to give those to. Um, cuticle gel remover, I might keep that because I do sort of feel like every now and again, it's probably good to do. I don't do it because I'm a bad person. I've got some like random bits of mess in here that I could reorganise. I might put them in a little tin rather than have them like that. And then this is what I'm going to use to clean my brushes. It's actually a beauty blender soap, but it's really good for cleaning brushes. So I'll sort that out. This little pot matches this pot um, and it's quite handy up here. I'll give it a clean, but I use, um, when I'm using makeup remover, I use um, reusable cotton pads rather than throwaway ones uh, like this in this little bag. So they hang on a hook just there, the clean ones. And then once I've wiped my eyes, I pop them in here. And then every few days I'll put them all in the washing machine. So that's handy to have for that. What's in here? Basically tons of lip products um, and my tweezers. These tweezers and tiny tweezers are awesome. Um, oh, I've got a, a Monsieur Big waterproof Lancome mascara. So if I'm going to a funeral basically, or a wedding, I guess, I would wear that mascara instead. And that's why I also need this because that's what will take it off. Um, but don't use it very often. Oh, bare minerals, strength and length. I forgot that I had that. Okay, so I think I need to separate the mascaras from the lip products because I hardly ever use lip products. And then it means that my mascara options are all being hidden. So I need to go through this more thoroughly, which I shall do. And because I've made space in there, I can actually do that. Um, and then here we go, more lip products here. So I've got quite a few lipsticks here. I probably need a better system for storing them. I hardly ever wear lipstick, but when I do, I do like to have options. <laughs> um, so if you want a video about the lipsticks that I never wear that I love, let me know and I'll do one specifically on lipstick. But I've already been talking to you for 20 minutes, so um, we should probably crack on. Um, this is a soothing moisture mask from Aven, but again, it's like a mini travel one, so I'll put that in my travel bag. And what's this? Anti-wrinkle protection fluid broad, broad, broad spectrum FPF, SPF 20. I think I will keep that up here. Quarterly. They opened a store just along from Smug when I still had Smug and they invited all of the all of our team to go to their party and they gave us goodie bags so that's what that's from. I've got a lot of products and I've used them all up. Quarterly is really great. Um, and then in here, this is where I have, there's a couple of palettes um, and powder products. So um, I need to go through these and see if I want things. Um, it's kind of like eyeshadows and bronzers and stuff like that, blushes. Um, I definitely don't need all of this, so I might give some of that away. So I'll go through that properly. But that sort of explains everything that's in there, and I'm gonna crack on and try and like reorganize.
Okay, I am pretty much done. So I've got uh, skincare-y stuff here. I have got um, so much more space here. I need to wash my brushes and put them back in there. So I'm gonna do that next. You don't really need to see that. I've got my, um, what's it called? Hairspray there. Any other hair products that are taller will end up here. Um, got my tweezers. This is basically mascara and then it's got other eye products in there. I'm going to keep a close eye and see if I'm really actually using any of this. I've got them down because it's like nice Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners and stuff. Let's see if I use them. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, um, I've asked for a new Glossier Mascara um, for Christmas. That one's pretty much dead. Um, and same with Boy Brow there. I've asked for a new one as well. Um, so when the new ones come, I'll bin them, but I don't want to be without them. <laughs> um, so brushes are going to go here, but also skincare is the main thing, like cleansers and stuff, that I this will probably get stretched out when the new things come. Um, and then up here, I've got my masks, I've got my moisturiser, I've got my SPFs, I've got my, um, what's it called? Primer, the only tinted moisturiser I use, my concealer. Um and basically other makeup bits in here, other concealery things and a little blusher and stuff like that. Then powder and bronzer. And then this is a little hair moment. And then I've put basically all of my other makeup up here. I've, these are all lip products and these are all eye products like pencil and mascara products. Um, both of these I wanna reduce down. So let's see over the festive season if I wear any makeup, if I wear any eye liner and if I wear any lipstick and then I'll probably reduce it down um same with this I mean these are all things that I don't reach for very often but they're little eye palettes and again in this festive season I am much more likely to wear a bit of like glittery, glittery eyeshadow or a bit of my MAC bronzer so they're there um perfumes and then this is like another little skincare moment that's got my mask that can't sort of stand up in the pile here and my lovely little jade roller um, and yeah, shebang, that's it. It feels so much better, so much better organized. Um, and the other bits I will now go and store in the hallway and then everything else is either being gifted or binned. This feels so much more manageable. Um, and I've actually got space. I don't really know, know what to do with the space. I'm gonna add some invisible bobbles to this pot here because I use those to tie my hair up when I wash my um, face. And yeah, that's it really. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you find skincare and beauty interesting. If not, then I imagine you'll have skipped this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that you found some of that useful. Maybe there are some recommendations in there of things that you want to get for yourself. Um, I am going to do a little haul video of the skincare that I've asked for and purchased myself over Christmas um, because of the holes in um, my skincare cabinet so i'll do a little haul it's probably going to be like space nk glossier and maybe a beauty pie something like that so i'll do a little haul for you in the new year so thank you so much for watching um and i'll see you next week on my channel